what I'm going to talk about in the video today is this little screw right here. Um, a common question I'm getting is, what is that screw for? Well, in short, this screw is a retainer for a, a reinforcement plate in the upper receiver. And this reinforcement is a unique feature to Colt's uh, monolithic or modular upper receivers. And that screw, what it does is it is retention. Let me get the light right here. It's retention for that little steel plate inside the upper receiver. It sits right behind the cam pin track, if you see that. Um, this upper receiver here that we're looking at, it is from a LE6940P or piston carbine that I have. Um, it was a rider uh, evaluator's carbine before I had a chance to get a hold, uh, buy it. And if you look in there, inside the far wall of the upper receiver, you see a bare silver spot back there. And then there's a dark track that runs up the inside of the receiver wall. And then it gets to that steel reinforcement plate right there that's held in by that screw. And then you have your cam pin track where the uh, bolt rotation finishes. So that's what that screw is for. It holds that metal plate in. And that metal plate was a design modification because of that wear that you see inside the upper receiver on that receiver wall there. You, again, you see back there where the light's at, there's that bare metal spot. And then there's that dark track that runs up inside the receiver wall. It gets to that reinforcement plate. And where that reinforcement plate is at is where the damage was the worst uh to to the upper receiver and again this is a feature only in the one uh, colt's one piece upper receivers now it is often said that that modification is on all of colt's one piece upper receivers and that's not a true statement um, i'm going to show you a couple examples here so there were some LE6940Ps that were made before the modification existed. Um, and not only was the modification put on the piston uppers, it was put on the uh, DI uppers also, the uh, gas impingement uppers. <clears throat> this upper receiver here you've seen in a previous video, it's a prototype. And you'll notice they put the screw in this. Uh, this one has a smaller cam pin track. And uh, you'll notice it's got a screw here. I'm going to move that off to the side. This, this next example I'm going to show you. This is one of the first production one-piece upper receivers that Colt did for a Department of Energy contract. It's still got a fixed front sight base, um, and I'll talk more about that in a different video. But you'll see here, again, this, this upper receiver here is an earlier production than this piston upper. You'll see it's got the smaller cam pin track, and it does not have the reinforcement. And then one other example I'm going to show you is on my Colt IAR 6940 upper receiver. You'll notice this has the larger cam pin track, but it does not have the reinforcement plate in it. Um, and that would indicate it was produced uh, prior to the uh, upper receiver 
modification being standardized. Chris Bartachi talks about this in a couple of his videos that he did under uh, Small Arm Solutions page on YouTube as well. Uh, he goes into a little more technical detail. But I just thought I'd do this quick video to give you guys a look at that and to answer that question. The uh, Again, that screw is uh, retention for reinforcement plate that you see inside there um, in the upper receiver. And this was a design a, a modification that was a result of damage that was being done to the inside of the upper receiver from the Colt LE 6940P piston design. If you have any questions, just post them down below and thanks for being here.